guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about the withdrawal symptoms that really come up when we're detoxing from an unhealthy or toxic relationship watch this video Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the little subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk about a not so fun subject, but an important one. When we are ending a narcissistic relationship, a toxic relationship of any kind, yes, of course, it is really mandatory to go no contact at some point. We all think, if I'm strong enough, I can talk to them in the future, I could deal with that. That's not the case. Anytime there's, let's say, poison and you drink it, no matter how strong your immune system is, it's going to take you out. So that's kind of the same thing with toxic relationships. We have to go no contact. We also have to understand that once we go no contact, we're going to feel a little better, but then we're not. And so most people come to me and they say, I broke up with him or broke up with her or stopped talking to this parent or whatever, but I feel like death. And I say, perfect. Perfect. That means you're going through the withdrawal. Stay with it. It's not easy. It's hard. It can look like depression. It can look like anxiety. It can look like confusion. It can feel like I can't get out of bed. I can't focus. I'm confused because your hormones are all screwed up because your nervous system has been severely affected by this relationship and then the lack of that relationship. Many of these relationships become like that drug, right, that fills you. If you're in a narcissistic relationship, it means there is an internal need that never got met. And you're looking for it to get met in this person, whether it be love, acceptance, safety, security, confidence, whatever it is that this relationship was filling for you, you're now in the void of it because it's not there. So don't be surprised if you start to see yourself filling it with other things. Are you shopping a lot? Are you um, on social media a lot? Are you drinking a lot? Are you doing things that you've never done, like smoking or whatever? Eating stuff that you've never eaten. You're trying to fill that void of that drug, that almost chemical dependency, and it really is for a while. So here's the thing, you guys. We have to first understand that when you go through this breakup and you think you're in love with that person, I've done a video like this before, but I wanna go deeper. You're not in love. You were in love with the fill of the void. You're not in love. Don't think I'm depressed, I'm in love with that person, I have to go to that person. That is the worst thing we can do because then the cycle gets worse. What we have to do instead is understand I'm in withdrawal. I'm withdrawing from this drug. Withdraw, withdrawal feels like shit. It feels like you can't get up some days. It feels like you can't function some days. I want you to know it's temporary but what we have to do is we have to release this trauma. It's not that time heals it. People think, oh, time will heal. It actually doesn't. We have to do trauma work to heal this. We have to do EFT. Tapping is a huge thing to release these emotions when they come up. One of my favorite ways that I used to do this when I'd go through this is I would do extreme self-care when it felt like the most counterintuitive thing to do in the entire world. I would shut down. I would do an opinion detox. So I would like not ask friends their opinion say it to them, please don't tell me what you think right now. I have to do this on my own. I would go within. I would read books. I would watch videos. I would fill myself with things that supported the inner journey I knew I had to do. I would do salt baths, have the masseuse come over. I talk about this stuff all the time. This is my whole deal. I go on long walks in nature. I'll make my favorite meal. I'll actually pack it in the fridge for a week so I know I have that comfort to go to. If I don't feel like exercising, I rest. I don't make myself do what I don't want to do. I'll watch some crap TV if I feel like it for a few minutes and then go back to my spiritual work. When we do this and we realize that we are the thing that we've been projecting onto them that we then get to get back because we're with them, we need to take it back from them and literally fill ourselves, fill that void, know that what I'm doing here is I'm trying to fill this withdrawal. Withdrawal, withdrawal. I'm trying to fill this withdrawal because it feels so bad. 
And what we need to do is realize that the reason we got in a relationship with them anyway is because this bad feeling was always in there. It just came to the surface with them. That's why I always say narcissistic relationships are actually extremely healing in the long run because they brought that part of you out that wasn't integrated with you. You kept projecting it onto them so you could be complete. The truth is when you realize that you've just let it all come to the surface, they didn't create it. They brought it up in you. It's time for you to heal it by connecting with you. Realizing I'm enough, I can connect with me and heal me. Realizing these symptoms are terrible because I've just been traumatized or re-traumatized. And if I go back, I will re-traumatize again. And what happens every time one of my clients, I always say, I won't be mad at you if you go back because you're going to go back until you don't. That's what it is. And don't be mad at yourself. Just do what you need to do. Every time they go back, though, they get re-traumatized. And it's almost as if you went back into that emotional addiction where you start thinking, oh, my God, I'm confused about how I feel. Oh, my God, I feel so depressed. I must be in love. No, you're depressed because you just got a hit of the drug and then the drug's gone again. So you're going through withdrawals again. So the best thing to do if you have to see this person because you have children with them or whatever is stay emotionally sovereign. Do not have an emotional conversation. Do not have a physical thing at all. That's even worse. But the emotional thing, well, can sometimes be worse because you get pulled back into that trap of they're my safety, they're my savior, and and it messes with the chemistry in your body. It really does. These emotional ties we have Do not end with no contact. No contact is step one, but we have to do the tapping. We have to do the trauma work. We have to go into the inner child. We have to be with ourselves. We have to do a ton of self-care and self-love regularly until it starts to ease. And I'll tell you from personal experience, it takes three to four weeks for it to start to ease, depending on how long you've been with the person. Could take up to a year, but it doesn't get worse. It gets better. So I just want to let you guys know there is a way out of these emotional withdrawal symptoms, physical withdrawal symptoms. You're not crazy for having it. It's as bad or worse as a drug withdrawal I've heard. So I don't know that personally, but this is what I've heard. So just knowing that, give yourself a break. Be kind to yourself. Say, thank God I'm strong enough to try to get away. Thank God I'm strong enough to know what my part in in this was, is that I wasn't healed within, so I looked externally to be filled, and now that fill is gone, and I'm feeling a void, and I'm having withdrawal symptoms. It makes sense. So we need to fill it with self-love. We need to fill it with trauma healing. We need to fill it with nutrients, and we need to fill it with friends who nourish us and family who support us. I'm always there for you as well. If you have any comments you'd like to um, leave in the comments below, please do. If you want to email me, my email is below. I also want to mention my boundaries bootcamp class will be starting soon. The wait list is below. We all need boundaries if we're in these relationships. So please check that out. Everything else is below. I hope you guys have a great week. Please share this with one person you think might need it. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon. Have a beautiful week.